Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waharaka Kapodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Most High Power of Israel. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, our Redeemer and Savior, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, Christ, and other names. Ruka Kodash is the Holy Spirit that gives us the full understanding of this truth which is a gift from our Savior, Yahweh Shai. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS. These are the men that taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corner, corners of the earth, pushing his gospel in all sincerity in his last days. Shalom also to the few sisters, our who are oh, sincerely seeking his truth. It's the brother Yara Yaya Shar Allah from the GMS Italy camp. And I just wanted to do this quick lesson. Hopefully, it's going to be edifying to the spirit and power of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. <clears throat> now, I want to base this lesson. I was actually studying, and you know, a couple of precepts just you know they hit me. So I thought I should do a lesson on it. So I'm going to read from the book of Hebrews, the eleventh chapter. I'll start from verse twenty-four. It quotes. By faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of the Most High Yahweh Shemiah Shai than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. And this is powerful, man, because, you know, the majority of our brothers, you know, they prefer to identify themselves with the oppressors. They prefer to identify themselves as, as, as American, you know. Don't, don't call me a black American. Don't call me an African. I'm an American. I have the same right as you. Blah, 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 blah. You would never have the same right in this kingdom. Because our people are sottish, they're foolish. They still don't understand that the wicked is in power and the wicked rules over them. They still don't understand that their real identity has been stolen by the wicked. And they're fighting by all means. They're trying to be like the wicked. They're trying to be like Esau, you know. That's why I put out this picture right here. Because, you know, every regular Jake out there, you know, believes that, you know, the main objective in life, you know, is, you know, trying to attain a degree in this society, you know, then trying to, 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 to build yourself, believe in your dreams and become the best you can be in this society. Man, it doesn't really matter what you become in this society. You're always a slave under the so-called white man, which is biblical nationality is Esau Edom. He is the devil the Bible speaks about, you know? So you see, this is a beautiful example here. This is Moses, the prophet Moses, you know? Who he was actually, he was just like most of us, were born in different parts of the world. You know, many of our brothers are born in Babylon, the great, which is America. Many of our brothers are born here in Italy, you know, born in the UK and everywhere. You know, they always want to identify themselves as this and that. But really, the other thing doesn't really matter, man. You know, and this truth, we identify ourselves as the sons of Jacob. We identify ourselves as the, as the true Hebrew Israelites. This is our heritage, man. You know, to hell with all the nations because all these nations... They all dealt with Esau in bringing us down. They all walked hand in hand in making sure that, you know, they erase our name from the face of the earth. Go read the book of Psalm 83, you know? So this is a beautiful uh, example here. Moses, you know, he grew up in the house of Pharaoh, but he, he chose to suffer affliction with the people of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. And this goes really deep because this is exactly what's coming, you know? Uh, people very soon, they'll be like, hey, um, um, we have to eat, we have to leave, you know? The Bible doesn't say you shouldn't eat. The Bible doesn't say you shouldn't leave, you know? That's where they want to use the scriptures to, to, to protect their wicked um, decisions. Because what's up next? The so-called white man that's in power, who is the devil, he has some plans for humanity. And that plan is to be your God, you know? 
to control your mind, your spirit, and soul, you know? And how is it going to do that? It's going to do that by um, injecting you with that um, grain of rice. That thing that's been spoken of in the book of Revelation, the 13th chapter, the 16th verse, you know? And when that time comes, our people would rather love and prefer to go down that way of pleasure and be a part of the society and not being seen, not being seen as an outcast, you know? But the righteous ones are going to say to hell with the pleasures of this place, man, you know? They're going to choose rather to suffer affliction, you know, with the people of the Most High Yahweh Shemi Shai, rather than enjoying that pleasures of sin, in which that pleasures of sin, it lasts nothing, just like the book of Job. This is the book of Job, chapter 20. I'll start from, let me just put it one. I'll start from verse 4. It says, Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon the earth, that the triumphant of the wicked is shut, and the joy of the hypocrites but for a moment? You know? The triumphant of this man that's in power, you know, all the glamour, all the, 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 the light flash, the red carpet and all that thing, it's not going to last forever. It's actually at the end, you know? That's why he's running up all around, you know, pushing his laws and trying to change um, legislations. And he is in a hurry, just like the book of um, Revelation, the 12th chapter, the 12th verse says, man. You know, he knows that he has no time. So you see, the sons of the most that Yahweh Shimi Shai, the right ones, you know, who have decided to walk in this truth, they are rather going to choose to suffer, okay? Affliction for that short time. Because remember, the Bible also tells you that we all must be tested, man. You know, nothing, nothing good comes that easily, man. You have to sweat, tears, shed tears and blood and all that thing to get something good. The same thing for this truth, you know? You don't just call on the name of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushua and it all ends there. No, the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushua will test you. The same thing that happened to Job is going to happen to each one of us, but in different, in different, um, in different levels, man. You know, in different levels, the Most High is going to try us in different ways. The story of Job is the perfect story for each one of us. You know, if you're coming into this truth, just like the Book of Sirach, the second chapter, you know. I think the second verse tells you, you know, be ready to be tempted, man. You know? Now it says in verse 26, it says, esteeming, let me read from verse 25. It says, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season, esteeming the reproach of Amashiach Yahweh Shai greater riches than the treasures in Egypt, for he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. And this is the mindset of the elect, you know. Hopefully, the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai keeps the spirit working in us and never takes the spirit away, you know. This is the mindset, man. You know, you have to you have to esteem the kingdom to come higher than whatever this world has to offer, you know. Yahweh Shai himself said it that eyes have not seen, neither have ears heard, what he has promised. To those who love him, man, you know? The greatest riches that you can attain for yourself is this truth. Don't be deceived, man. This is not... If you go to all the colleges you want, you can go, you can study whatever you want, and they put that that Saturn, Saturnalia hat on your head, you know? You come out more of fool than before because you've been brainwashed, man, you know? The knowledge of this world is foolishness unto the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai, you know? Let's get the book of um, Proverbs. Proverbs 8, 11. Proverbs 8, 11 says, Receive my instruction and not... No, I'll start from 10. Sorry, it's lucky. It says, Receive my instruction and not silver and knowledge rather than choice gold. 
for wisdom is better than rubies and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. You know? So you see, the wisdom of this truth, uh, this truth is, is true, is wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And it comes directly from the Most High, Yahweh, Hashem, Shai. You know? This is what your heart should be set all to, you know? Now, the riches that the world has to offer, the degrees that they have to offer, it's not compared, it's nothing compared to this truth, man, you know? It's totally on a different level. You know, but the foolish ones don't understand, man, and it's all good. The Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai has kept giving them that spirit to remain in that blindness. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3. I'll start from, I'll come back to some top verses right there. But I, don't, I just want to read real quick, verse 13. It says, Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, and the gain thereof than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies, and all the things thou canst de desire are not to be compared unto her. It says, length of days is in our right hand, and in our left hand, riches and honor. Our ways are ways of pleasantness, and all our paths are peace. Now, today, if Moses was to be here, and, you know, he's groomed on, uh, in the Queen of England's palace, you know, he's, he's seen as the prince and all that thing, and he refuses, you know, truly, and he becomes, you know, a Hebrew Israelite and start coming out to the streets to teach with the Apostle Taha, the Apostle Gabbar, the Apostle Ramlab, the Apostle Roka, you know, and the rest of the elders. You know, the people in the world are going to seem like, man, this man is foolish, you know. They'll call him foolish because they, they have no understanding, you know. And that's exactly what happened with, um, with, with Moses. Moses left all that riches, left all that royalty, you know. And he chose the truth. He chose to, 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 to follow the truth, you know. And this is a this is a great test, and this is this is a beautiful example for each one of us in this truth, man. You know. Where is the scripture right there? Can going back to the book of Hebrews, we stopped at um verse 26. It says, esteeming the reproach of Amashiach greater riches than the treasures in Egypt, for he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. And what's that reward? The reward is the kingdom, man. You know, the kingdom should be your everything, man. It should be the forefront of your existence, you know, making it to that kingdom, you know. And making it to that kingdom means, you know, living this truth to the best of your ability you know we are we, we are humans man you know we have a we have a a different defects but you know you have to live this truth to the best of your ability and that kingdom should be what your eyes is set upon your eyes have to be single you know and that's how you can overcome the wicked days that are coming remember the book of jeremiah 37 Remember the book of Daniel 12, 1. A time is coming like never before since the beginning of the earth. You know, now this is just like a calmness, you know. Everything looks like, oh, summer is coming back. People are going back to the beach and all that thing. This is the calm before the delusion, man. You know, and remember, don't be carried away because the scripture tells you that, you know, you shall say peace, peace, peace. Then all of a sudden, you know, destruction come like a woman in travail you know you don't want to be caught out caught out on 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 god man you know so the wise one are going to you know watch and pray very important to 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 to, to pray to the most high yahweh shim shai in this time we're getting into verse 27 it says by faith he forsook egypt not fearing the wrath of the king for he endured as seeing him who is invincible, you know, and you see, faith is the is the machine that drives all these things. If you're in this truth, 
you're just learning but you don't have faith that you know um that um our savior our mashiach our shy is coming to redeem us from this rulership and the so-called negro man you know the so-called uh, latino you know the so-called native americans they are going to be the rulers of this kingdom if you don't really believe it in the bottom of your heart man you're just wasting your time you know you're wasting your time you shouldn't waste your time because if you don't have faith in all these things it means that you're just wasting your time you need to have faith that if if you if you refuse to take that MOTB you know that karagma revelation 13 16 you know you need to have faith Yahweh is going to have your back just like I, he had the back of our of our forefathers you know all the prophets that trusted in him none of them was disappointed he always had their back he always provided for them he always protected them you know so the most i has given us his words but if you don't have faith to believe these words then you're wasting your time in this truth man you know this is the book of jeremiah 17 and 5 it says thus said yahweh Bahasham Yahushai caused to be the man that trusted in man and maketh flesh his harm and whose heart departed from Yahweh Bahasham Yahushai. You know, now going back here, it says, esteeming, no, by faith he forsook Egypt. You know, so you see, you have to forsake this kingdom and everything this kingdom has to offer. A time is coming, you have to forsake this kingdom. You know, and all those that are trusting in, 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 in these powers that be, the government, you know, Esau, Edom, that's ruling the so-called white man, telling you, oh, uh, we're working on bringing peace to the world, we're working on a new world order, we're working on this, we're working on that, you know, you are all going to be destroyed. Woe unto those that put your trust in men. Your trust needs to be on the Most High, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, you know? If you're not trusting in the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, you're wasting your time, okay? If you think that time is going to come, uh, you're just going to sneak in and take that MOTB and say, ah, God understands. He understands that I need to eat. He understands that I need to work, you know? Hey, you're going to be destroyed, man, you know? This is the book of Psalm. Psalm 146. And verse 3, it says, Put not your trust in princes, not in the sons of man, in whom there is no help. You know? Verse 5, it says, Happy is he that hath the most high, Yahweh Shem Yahushai of Jacob, Yahweh, for his help, whose hope is in Yahweh Shem Yahushai, his power, okay, which made heavens and earth and the sea and all that that daring, daring is, which keepeth truth forever, which executed judgment for the oppressed, which giveth food to the hungry, the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahushai loseth the prisoners. You know? So you see, it's the most high Yahweh Shem Yahushai. You have to put your trust in not man. Not man. Man has nothing to offer. You know, all your politicians and all the men's there, you know, telling you, oh, we're working on it. We're trying to find some 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 diplomats, this, that, blah, 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 you know, new energy and all that crap, you know. All these men don't care about you, man, you know. Rather, they meet in the dark and they plan on how to destroy you, you know. So if you're trusting in your careers, if you're trusting in all these things, you know, the spirit has been on me lately, you know, to just do lessons centered on this, you know. And that's the spirit, man. You know, I can't quench that spirit. This is what the spirit gives me to teach, you know. So this is it, man. I'll bring up one, one quick scripture, you know, where I was before the book of Proverbs, um, the third chapter, you know. And I'll close this lesson. I'll read from verse 5. It says, Trust in Yahweh with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. 
in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path be not wise in thine own eyes fear yahweh but show me how shy and depart from evil you know so hey this is what it is i'm just going to read this the scripture that, that inspired me to do this lesson i'll just read real quick and i'll close the lesson this is the hebrew the book of hebrew chapter 11 i read from verse 20 um verse 24 it says by faith moses when it was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of the Most High Yahweh Shemiah Shai than to enjoy the pleasures of his of sins for a season, esteeming the reproach of a Mashiach Yahweh Shai greater riches than the treasures in Egypt, for he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. By faith he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invincible. So hopefully this lesson was edifying through the spirit and power of the Most High Yahweh Bahashem Shai. I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rukakudash Shalom.